the key to freedom out of doors is the Magellan GPS 2000 satellite navigator receiver. It shows you where you are, where you've been, and guides you anywhere you want to go and back again, all with the push of a button. Save all those favorite spots and return any time, or go to places you've never been before. Start before daylight, stay until dark, and return home with ease. It's simple with the Magellan GPS 2000. This video will quickly familiarize you with the GPS 2000's physical features, keys, and screens, and show basic techniques to begin using it right away. For additional details on more advanced features, see the GPS 2000 user guide. GPS stands for Global Positioning System. Using satellite signals to determine latitude, longitude, and elevation, the GPS 2000 converts that information into easy to understand displays so you know exactly where you are, have a record of where you've been, and arrows to guide you where you want to go 24 hours a day in any kind of weather, any place on the planet. Magellan is the undisputed GPS leader. Military proven rugged, accurate, and dependable. First with commercial handheld receivers, and now with the latest word in technical innovation, the GPS 2000. Uncompromising quality, lightweight, compact, and extremely easy to use. Already know where the lake is, but want to remember that special hotspot? Store it as a landmark. You can return anytime. Want to cover a lot of unfamiliar terrain and return before nightfall? Let the GPS 2000 plot a direct course back to camp. Want to return to last year's hunting spot? Key in the location and let the GPS 2000 guide you there. Want to visit a spot you've heard about? Key in the coordinates and go. Let's take a closer look at the GPS 2000. Four AA batteries power your receiver. Press the release tabs on either side and remove the cover. You'll feel slight resistance from a rubber gasket that seals out dirt and moisture. On the cover and inside the battery compartment are diagrams showing how positive and negative poles should be aligned. Make sure the batteries are inserted correctly and replace the cover. The waterproof GPS 2000 will now work continuously for up to 17 hours. At the opposite end is the antenna Hold the unit away from you with the antenna facing the open sky. This enables the receiver to track available satellites. Keep in mind that a clear view of the sky assures the strongest signal and a good position fix. The GPS 2000 has a scratch-proof liquid crystal display with high contrast screen and a keypad. One key turns the receiver on and off. A light for the display helps guide you at night. Nav scrolls through four navigational screens. Go to sets and activates the route you plan to take. Four arrow keys allow you to select letters and numbers or scroll through menus. An enter key commands the receiver to perform whatever function you select. Menu lets you pick functions and there's a clear key to exit pop-up menus and return you to the previous screen. Now, with batteries in, depress the on-off key until the words GPS 2000 appear, and it's time to initialize. This setup helps the unit get a first position more quickly by telling the unit your approximate location. It knows which satellites to search for and will shorten your search time by 15 minutes or more. Once you've initialized, whenever you want the exact coordinates of a position fix, the receiver does the job quickly because it knows what satellites to look for and where they are in the sky. Initializing takes only a moment and is easy to do. In the user guide, and incidentally, you don't have to be outside, find your closest city within 300 miles 
and write down the latitude and longitude. On your receiver, press Menu. Press the up arrow to highlight setup. Press Enter. Initialize is highlighted. Press Enter once more. Using the arrows, put in latitude and longitude. Up or down for numbers. Right or left to go to the next space. Press Enter after each line is completed. If you know your elevation, use the arrows to put that in too. If you don't, simply press Enter. Add the local time. the current date, and your new GPS 2000 is ready for action. You'll also need to initialize, after moving the receiver approximately 300 miles from the last locations used, or if memory is lost. Now it's time to put the GPS 2000 to work by taking a position fix. Press the nav key to bring up the position screen. The GPS 2000 tells you it's searching for satellites, and the padlock symbol in the left-hand corner is unlocked. The bars indicate you're receiving signals. When time and date appear, and the padlock symbol is locked, you have your position fix. Landmarks are locations saved in memory. The first position you save should be the start of your activity or your home base. This assures that you can return no matter how far you've roamed, allowing total freedom to explore. The easiest way to save your position as a landmark is to press Enter at the position screen or any of the other three nav screens. Pressing Enter brings up the instruction menu with Save Position highlighted. If you'd like to name your landmark, press Enter. Use the arrow keys to put in a name up to six letters. We'll call our home base Tent. Press the up or down arrow until the letter T appears. Press the right arrow to go to the next space. Up or down for the letter E. Right arrow for the next space, and so on until the word Tent is complete. Press Enter again to save. If you prefer, the receiver can assign a name. From the position screen, press Enter, Enter, Enter. The receiver automatically saves the location and assigns it an ID number. In this case, LMK for Landmark 01. The second automatically named landmark would be 02 and so on. Now take off, maybe on a journey you wouldn't have attempted before because now that you've saved your starting location, you can be confident of finding your way back. Along the way, if you find a special spot, you can identify and save it as a landmark. At any nav screen, simply press Enter for the instruction menu and save the landmark as you did your home base. Read about a great location in a book? Hear about one from a friend? See one on a map? Now you can visit this place where you've never been by creating a landmark. While on a nav screen, press Enter for the instruction menu. Use the down arrow to highlight Create Landmark and press Enter. For a landmark name, use the arrow keys as you did with your home base. Up and down arrows for letters, right and left arrows for spaces. In this case, SPA for South Point Area is stored. Or if you prefer, your GPS 2000 assigns an ID number simply by pressing Enter. For coordinates, use the arrow keys as you did during initialization to put in latitude. Incidentally, latitude default is always N for North. In the Southern Hemisphere, you'd need to change that to S for South. Also put in longitude and elevation if you know it. Otherwise, press Enter. 
The GPS 2000 can store up to a hundred landmarks, so you can quickly go to any one from your present position simply by pressing the Go To key. Use arrows to highlight the landmark you want, and select it by pressing Enter. When the pointer screen appears, your receiver calculates and displays the information you need to reach your objective. Each nav screen displays similar information in different ways. The pointer screen continuously steers you toward your destination, showing details like distance and time remaining. Standing still, the GPS 2000 assumes it's facing north. Begin moving, and the receiver picks up your direction of travel. Simply steer where the arrow points. When it's straight up, you're on course. The navigation screen provides information to help keep you on track, as well as speed of movement and distance. The plotter screen displays a history of your route traveled, plus bearing and, again, distance to the landmark. The position screen shows where you are and the time of day. You can easily transfer these latitude and longitude numbers to a map and identify your location. If you don't have a map, the arrow will still guide you to your destination. You can also create a route with multiple legs. Press the menu key to access the route menu. Or if you're on a nav screen, press enter, highlight route menu, and press enter again. Select create by highlighting it, and press enter. For leg one, the from landmark is your current position fix if you have one. Or use the left right arrows to pick another, and press enter. Select a two landmark the same way. Notice that distance and bearing between landmarks are displayed. Your route can contain up to 29 legs. Complete it by pressing Enter at the two line. The display returns to your original nav screen, in this case the position screen, and begins steering you on the first leg of the route. Now let's review the route we created. Press Enter. Select Route Menu, press Enter, and select View, and press Enter. There's the first leg. Press the up arrow for the second leg, and so on. Regardless of what programmed route you're using, when the receiver's on with a clear view of the sky, it automatically creates a position fix every 10 minutes storing up to 30 locations in the last fix memory. Finished for the day and ready to head back? Press Enter. After the instruction menu appears, select Route Menu, press Enter, select Backtrack, and press Enter. Your GPS 2000 will begin guiding you back over a return route, a mirror image of your recent travels. Now you've reviewed the unit's features and seen basic techniques in action. As you become more familiar with the GPS 2000, you'll be able to perform many more functions, even tailor sequences and screens to fit your own individual needs. The user guide contains details on all these variables and techniques, from setting the clock and changing screen contrast to clearing and activating multiple routes. There's a troubleshooting guide, lots of useful reference information, how to get help, and to order accessories, which are also available from local dealers. The Magellan GPS 2000 Satellite Navigator Receiver is your key to fun and freedom, and it's so easy to use. Great for saving and revisiting fishing holes, trailheads, and campsites, for scouting locations, and opening the door to new adventures, taking you anywhere you want to go and back again. The Magellan GPS 2000 your personal guide to the great outdoors.